I'm against the test, but I think it would be a disaster for France if it's changed in mind, because uh, that means that such a decision would have been taken without a strong will, and therefore it will give a feeling that France is a weak nation. The French are very big on appearances, and none more so than the recently elected head of state, Jacques Chirac. This former military man would like nothing better than to be seen as the strong-willed leader who put France back on centre stage in world politics. His decision to resume nuclear testing has certainly done that. Je pense que la France avait besoin de reprendre son rang dans les puissances mondiales. Je pense que c'est un bien. But for every French national who supports Chirac's decision, there are now three who would have it reversed. On trouve ça dégoûtant parce que bon l'autre fois on a vu à la télé un reportage sur Hiroshima. C'est horrible et je trouve que c'est dommage que ça continue. To understand how Chirac can forge ahead in the face of world anger, one needs to look at France's recent history. For modern, nuclear France was born out of the desperation of defeat. The losses suffered during the two world wars have left their mark not only on the French countryside, but on the French psyche. Here at Verdun, 400,000 French men lost their lives in the longest and bloodiest battle of World War I. France vowed it would never again be subject to such defeat, but it was. The Nazi occupation of France during World War II left the nation crushed and humiliated. The French desperately needed someone to believe in, a hero. They found him in General Charles de Gaulle. The devastating success of the atomic bomb in winning the war convinced de Gaulle the only way forward was nuclear. He threw his energy into creating a powerful and independent nuclear industry, one which would safeguard France's liberty, and one which post-war French leaders, like Chirac, have done their utmost to nurture. Admiral Antoine Sanguinetti has participated in seven nuclear tests. Retired, but not the retiring type, this former head of the French Marine says further tests are not needed, except for political reasons. Il y a pour ça un certain nombre de raisons, sans doute. Ce ne sont que des hypothèses. La première, bon, c'est ce que je disais, c'est sans doute le désir d'apparaître comme Charles de Gaulle tenant tête au monde entier. La seconde, c'est certainement un service financier à rendre à l'industrie d'armement et à l'industrie nucléaire, peut-être en retour de certaines euh, facilités accordées pendant les campagnes électorales. Like Sanguinetti, Jacques Attali knows only too well the economic and political power of the nuclear industry. It creates employment for up to one million people. The fact is that this whole group of people both civilian and military, are absolutely vital for the French development. 
Attali was senior advisor to Francois Mitterrand, the former president who, in 1992, suspended nuclear tests. It was not an easy decision. It is the, uh, the tool of French virility, in a certain sense. And therefore, to weaken it would be a kind of castration, if we go on this very dangerous metaphor. In France today, the nuclear industry is big business. It's the world's leading supplier of nuclear reactors, and it generates 80% of all French electricity, making France the most nuclearized Western nation. Virtually every region has either a civilian or military nuclear installation, a nuclear reactor or a nuclear waste and storage facility. Sites like this in the Rhone Valley are as much a part of the French landscape as chateaus and vineyards. People here are used to them and very few ask any questions about them. <laughs> On a hot day in the southern French town of Pierlat, too long water hole is the place to be, as long as you don't mind cooling off in the shadow of the Tricastan nuclear complex. It's the backbone of the region's economy. Here, uranium is enriched for both industrial and military purposes. The site's outflow appears to run into the water hole, where, perhaps coincidentally, Swimming is prohibited by council order. But there are no thoughts here of possible contamination or radioactive leaks. Aren't you concerned about fishing so close to a nuclear installation? No, ça ne gêne pas. Moi, je pense pas que ça ça agisse dessus. Le problème, les gens se baignent et tout et. Some scientists are not so trusting. Michelle Ravisi works for CRIRAD, a group which carries out independent research on radioactivity. And, uh, on this lake, it is forbidden to fish and to swim. And we don't know why. They've not tested at too long water hole before. Elsewhere, however, their trials have found unacceptably high levels of radioactivity. But according to Ravisi, the bad news rarely filters through. Uh, we have uh, created create the CRIRAD because uh, there is a sort of mafia in nuclear. Uh, in mafia in the French government, mafia in the uh, administration, and it is a situation in France. Do you believe that radioactive levels in France are too high and that there are health problems created by that? I am sure it's not clean. It's uh, uh, wrong to say to the population, nuclear power are clean. At Crerad's laboratory, Bruno Cheriron is busy collating the proof. He's examining sediment taken from the waterhole, looking for cesium, one of the telltale signs of radioactivity. The uh, surface of the peak is quite huge, which means that you have a lot of cesium in this sediment sample. Could this cesium be produced naturally? No, cesium is a fission product. It means that it, uh, it's created by nuclear reaction, whether they occur in a nuclear plant or during uh, a bomb testing. So this is an artificial nucleide. And what does cesium do to the body? Well, the problem that will occur with cesium is the problem that occur with all kind of radionuclides you get an increase um, of cancer risk and in, an increase of risk ge of genetic abnormalities for your uh, offsprings. In France, there's a culture of complacency about things nuclear. Here, the so-called safe level of radioactivity is five times above international norms. Trying to change perceptions is difficult. 
Je vous ai dit tout à l'heure que personne dans l'industrie française d'armement ne rende compte. Et qu'à aucun moment, on ne discute même ces questions au Parlement. Ils ne sont pas hors la loi. La loi leur permet de faire ce qu'ils veulent. And what the nuclear club wants now is one last series of tests at Mururoa Atoll. Enfoui au cœur du massif de basalte, le point zéro. Trois, deux, un, zéro. The plan is to test the warhead that Chirac has said will arm France's submarine fleet, the TN-75, between one and 40 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The warhead has already been extensively tested, but Chirac says more actual explosions are needed so scientists can collect data to simulate tests in the future. And this is where the arguments begin. It has been said by the same experts some years before, two years before, that this uh, new class of nuclear weapons were already perfect and uh, totally uh, manageable. Therefore, either it was wrong two years ago or it's wrong today. If simulation data is still needed, Jacques Attali says it could be bought from the United States. The tests, he believes, reflect a push to develop smaller, offensive nuclear weapons. Miniaturization is a, is a dream of, of scientists or, or industrialists. But if you miniaturize the nuclear weapons, that means that you create tiny weapons which can be used within the battlefield, not as a threat, as a deterrent, uh, but as an element of battle, which is exactly the contrary of a French doctrine. It's a view also held by Admiral Sanguinetti. À peu près certainement, là étant donné les développements qu'il y a eu depuis trois, qu'il y a eu depuis trois ans, c'est certainement un changement de la doctrine française d'emploi des armes nucléaires, où l'on passerait non plus de la menace de rétorsion en cas d'attaque par quelqu'un d'autre, mais à l'emploi en premier d'armes nucléaires. Non, non. La, la réponse est clairement non. Si nous avions d'autres possibilités. General Jean Ranou is the assistant chief of staff of the French armed forces. Ce que nous allons faire, ce sont des expériences de physique différentes des tests que nous avons faits dans le passé. Et ces expériences vont nous servir à mettre au point le système de simulation et, et non pas du tout à développer une nouvelle arme. Depuis euh, le début des années 1960, notre politique de défense est fondée sur la dissuasion nucléaire. Et la dissuasion nucléaire, c'est la manière d'empêcher la guerre. Et nous voulons maintenir cette politique de, dé, de défense. But according to Admiral Sanguinetti, if France only wants a nuclear deterrence, it only ever needed one test. Vous dissuadez parce que vous dites que vous avez des armes nucléaires et comme vous avez fait un essai, ça prouve que vous les avez, c'est fini. C'est pas la peine d'en faire d'autres. Personne ne prend le risque d'essayer de savoir si vraiment votre bombe marche ou pas. Personne. Around the world, pressure is mounting on Chirac to call off the nuclear tests. Not only on environmental grounds, but because they jeopardize international treaties aimed at reducing the world's nuclear arsenal. Most protests, Chirac can afford to ignore, but not those on his home turf. And certainly not here in Strasbourg, the home of the European Parliament, one of France's main international forums. Emotional protest, no matter how widespread or heartfelt, is not enough to change Chirac's mind. 
His decision was political, and at home, the politics haven't changed. As far as Chirac is concerned, it's business as usual. Thank you.